Ever looked at the Pantheon's massive dome and thought, how did the Romans pull this off nearly 2,000 years ago? Let's discover how the Romans built using smart engineering and clever tricks to defy gravity and time. First of all, we need to understand that this was only possible because of a game changer, Opus Cementitium, what we call Roman concrete. This mix of volcanic ash, lime, water, and aggregates made for a remarkably strong self-bonding concrete. It eliminated the need to painstakingly cut and fit stone blocks, speeding up construction dramatically. Before building the dome, the Romans constructed a massive six-meter-thick circular wall of brick and concrete, which was capable of holding the dome's weight and resist its outward thrust. Then, the dome's construction started. To make the dome, the Romans used a formwork made of a massive wooden hemisphere comprising of radial ribs and horizontal planks. The Romans then poured concrete in carefully planned layers, starting from the base and moving upward. They used heavier stones like travertine and basalt at the base for strength, and used lighter materials like pumice and tuff near the top, thereby reducing the weight. The concrete was poured onto the wooden formwork in horizontal rings, and as each ring set, the next was added above it. This method created a solid, seamless dome that gradually became lighter and thinner toward the oculus, masterfully balancing strength and weight to prevent collapse. The recessed coffers in the Pantheon's dome were carefully planned and molded into the wooden formwork before the concrete was poured. And at the very top, the oculus, a 27-foot wide circular opening, was made to cleverly relieve stress from the dome's weakest point. Once the concrete hardened, the wooden support was removed, leaving a perfect, unreinforced concrete dome. Like and subscribe for more.